Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten done having a very deep conversation with Sky here, and uh, now we're going to be moving on. Oh, I wish I could close the door for her. Uh, moving on to checking out the booth Evelyn was in. Oh, I can lock it. Interesting. Let's take right. a look, shall we? Yeah. Blood. Oh. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Yeah. I'm, I mean, it says large, but I wouldn't say that's large. It's... Yeah, that's more of a broken nose against the wall than anything else. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, Sean VR. <laughs> it's a thing for feet. <laughs> okay, man. Uh. Well, Klein wasn't the one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. Okay. And guy left. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Not particularly. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. A remote hack. That's probably more likely. Okay, I think I got everything with the what? Oh, I could... Oh, it's a hollow view. Prompt, it keeps coming up. That makes sense. Hmm. Nothing else that I could really investigate in here. I think that was the main thing. Huh. So, she's just doing the job, as usual. Some guy really into her feet. And then, all of a sudden, just kind of loses it. Weird. Very weird. Hmm. All right. Get inside the VIP area. Not bad, but it would be much better, real. I would eat those thighs. <laughs> what do you mean, real? She's all ones and zeros. Do you mean I can ask her to do anything? Literally anything? <laughs> ask? It's not about asking, man. You just gotta be programmed. At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. Um. What's so hard to get? Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it. So why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show? Right. Okay. I can't get in. What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you, here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. 
Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to remotely turn that off. No shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. <sighs> the fuck am I looking at? Is this some kind of joke? Interesting. Well, hello. What the? What the? What do you mean, what the? That was weird. I have literally no idea what this guy is doing. Interesting. Just gonna turn that off real quick. And I'm going to sneak right through. And nobody will be the wiser. Interesting. Okay. Gonna... Anything, whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Okay. Someone's having a rough day. More like part life. Okay. Is there a bounce back in the champagne bucket? That's weird. Okay, whatever. Um You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Okay, could you shut up? All right. The foodie guide to Night City. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in reading this. The world traveler in Night City is faced with a dilemma. Enjoy the local cuisine or save their gut the trouble. If you don't own a trauma team policy, you're probably better off sticking to the tried and tested chains and exclusive restaurants. But if you do, Night City is full of risk that packs a lot of reward. Here's our risk reward breakdown of Night City's good eats. Okay. So they're outright saying you might get food poisoning. Of the uh, hospitalization variety. <laughs> okay. For the cautious consumer, Blue, a gourmet dining experience with some of the highest accolades and richest portfolios in the city. If you're after high quality, locally sourced ingredients, Blue is the place for you. Among its marquee dishes are authentic caviar, oysters, and imported Prosecco. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know. I've never seen that word. The alabaster white interior adorned with minimalist decor is perfect for a relaxing night out on a day of hustle and bustle. Right. Pepper and spice. A unique locale on the culinary map of Le uh, Night City. This eatery was founded by renowned travel icon Tony Halik. It stands apart from the competition thanks to his diverse menu of transcontinental fusion dishes, most of which are offered at surprisingly reasonable prices. Caribbean, Polish, Kenyan, it's all here. Just not in a combination you've ever seen before. The crowd favorite, Halik's own vanilla dumplings. Okay. That's an interesting name for a dish. I kind of want to know what that's like. Just a little, just a little bit. I was also yawning while I was talking. For the gutsy gourmand, ha <laughs> gutsy. <laughs> when it comes to eating, ha 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 ha. Buck a slice. According to urban legend, the NCPD has an entire file on the mysterious deaths of homeless people who lost, whose last meal rather, was. Pizza from Buck a Slice. Yeesh. True or not, bargain seekers living on a euro dollar a lunch budget should still be prepared for gastrointestinal distress. 
Worth the risk? Only if you want a greasy slice of authentic Night City flavor. Plus, their secret recipe, Chili Spurt Scoparoni. Chili Spurt. That's a name. Is unlike anything you've ever tasted, but only available on special request. And Rulai. At Rulai, you will find all of the three Ps. Potent, punchy, and pungent. Try saying that three times fast. Every visit to this locale... Everything... I can't talk anymore. I screwed myself up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Every visit to this local favorite is like playing a game of Chinese roulette. Okay. Regulars at Rulai claim you're just as likely to get bearable egg rolls and halfway decent rangoons as you are tainted tofu or Sichuan salmonella. You've been warned. Okay, whatever you say. Of course I'm in, in, in what capacity? In what yeah, capacity? I have that bike. I know where to... Sham Paradise, huh? That's the name of a thing. Watson Horror. Okay, that's that's a weird one. Ooh, pin the booth. Hi. Hey, Tom. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not, not really sure. particularly. Uh, don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry about it. I'm not a customer Relax. right now. You don't need any data. Don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. Here to talk to you specifically, not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh huh. Mm hmm. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. I mean to say she's not here. She had an accident, needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Okay. Definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants. Recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Yeah, true. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. I don't care. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Mr. Not really Forrest. Why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Ah. Uh, big old pimp. Gotcha. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and dolls. Uh, that's what they should be replacing. Well, I don't know about that. Can I ever? Oh, it's the other one I hadn't turned off yet. All right. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to open the door and hope that no one gets mad at me. Never mind. All right. Well, I guess I'll wait until he leaves. Wait, wait, there's a couple things over here I might as well grab. There we go. Maybe I can use this to distract.
Okay. That is a load of shit. That is a load of shit. <sighs> All right, let's back it up. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh, that's what they should be replacing. Come on. Don't need to be that mean. Come on, all right. Let's get out of here. And turn that off again. And we're going to crouch, go through, close it again, and we're good. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Got some new hardware. Yeah. A shard scheduled board of for cloud security. Jeremy White. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Whoops, that's not what I want. Okay, time to sneak through further. There we go. Anything? Hmm. Interesting. This is really only location where I could hope to get any further and I also don't want to kill this guy okay and non-lethal there we go that's good enough Huh. I'll take all of that and Kendachi new spring catalog. All right. Ooh, well, I'll take that. Our mission at Kendachi, we are creators. We care about our customer satisfaction and their budget. Right. By choosing our products, you can be confident no euro dollar invested goes to waste. Again, right. Kendachi, the choice is obvious. Our products. Kendachi M55 Power Sword. For our blade buffs, our iconic power sword is back and better than ever. Dice your foes into tiny pieces without breaking a sweat using our latest... Blah, 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 using our latest micro serrated crystal blade technology. With highest quality materials crafted into a lethal yet elegant design, the power sword will look as good on your mantle as it does near hand. The Kendachi Mono 2 Classic. You can't improve upon it perfection. This time-honored twin blade has been in continuous production since 2019. Wow, that's a long time. Lit by a custom color handle embedded laser, the Mono 2 has never gone out of style. Block every blow and slice through any defense. We wouldn't keep making them if people weren't buying them. Order yours today. Kendachi Mono Wire. Oh, so they make the Mono Wire. A weapon as discreet as it is deadly. Made for those who desire power but have no urge to flaunt it. This molecule-thin blade is manufactured by our team of expert engineers in our state-of-the-art orbital facility. The mono wire can bear loads of up to 3,000 pounds. Wow, that is really strong. And slices through armor weaves like butter-flavored scops bread. Rumor is many officials at the Zurich Convention wanted this weapon banned and off the market. Now, if that's not high praise, we don't know what is. Whatever you say, that's not necessarily a good thing. 
Schedule changes and incident report. Something, sp Something spooked them. They hauled every last security man to the club. Tuesday. I'm trying to figure out which... Wednesday. All currently employed security called in for emergency. To 15. Tiger Claws reinforcements called. They even called for reinforcements. Wow. Okay. Something really happened. Something really bad happened. Commotion in VIP area. Client's VIP card expired. Ah, makes sense. Fight between two clients, both escorted off premises. Doll called security. Client was threatening her. Client escorted off premises. Problem with payment. Friend paid for client. Client refused to leave club. Escorted off premises. Flynn and White. Shift change. Client lost consciousness at the bar. Recovered by trauma team. Fight broke out at the entrance. Payment was rejected. Client was making a scene. Doll beat up. Client fainted in a booth. Resuscitated by Doll. Group of three clients refused to leave club. Escorted off premises. Right there, see that? Two in. Looks like Whoops. Tiger claws for backup too. That was an accidental button press. Trying to get up from my crouching position, and that accidentally skipped it. My bad. Okay, well. There's that, anyway. Well? Since I'm in here already, I might as well loot everything. Evelyn's handbag. Left her purse. Could have had more than one. All the shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. Yeah. You wouldn't leave the purse behind and then leave everything in it. Just not very common a thing to happen. And he's gone. Okay. Uh, making sure I don't leave anything behind. Even if they're not particularly useful. Uh, Evelyn's schedule. Wendy D, Cloud Shift, Nails, Thomas B, Lunch. Oh, that must be the Tom we were talking to. Mustachioed Turd Dinner. Okay. Jerry O'Connell meeting, clouds shift, Judy breakfast canceled. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Might as well use the technical ability. I can easily do it, might as well. Okay, just to make sure I can do it. Okay. There's the door I need to go through. Hey, no clients allowed in here. I'm not a client. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? Or as you can see, I'm very busy. Yeah, stuff in your face, I can see that. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Mm-hmm. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth, too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. That's... They call you Woodman, right? That because you have as much charisma as a tree stump? Somehow, I doubt you understand the situation. Situation? What situation? 
Think I'll give a cat's turd about every limp dick who walks through here? So you're gonna be difficult. All right. Look, we can settle this without anyone getting hurt. Why make this any harder than it needs to be? You should ask yourself that. Listen carefully. One way or another, I'm gonna find her. And when I do, all kinds of shit is gonna happen. Shit you don't want to end up on the wrong side of. Assume you believe your side to be the right one. Yeah. Take a wild guess. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker? Mm-hmm. She ain't here. Tell okay. me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. I saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Fair point. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Ah, uh, capitalism. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, he said he knew something or other. You took her to the ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For oh, fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. You can't risk tanking our crib. People like you deserve a special place in hell. Yeah, people like you need to come up with better insights. We done here. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn. Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know. Considering where I work. All right. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> the Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. Don't come back here. Ever. Not promising that. Take the elevator. Crookie or out of here, the better. Right. Doc Fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co ed's wet dream. Right. We'll see how much of a wet dream it actually is. All right. Time to head out of here. Ground floor. Well, 
Evelyn's chip got fried. Oh, well, nice. Thank you. Retrieve my weapons. Weapons return. Wow, that's going to take a, a long time. Day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. Uh-huh. Not going to ask that again. I'm pretty sure I know how this works. All right. And we're back. And a level up. Okay. Good enough. Let's see. And... Ah! That's right. Now I can open these up. And get into these. Grenades deal more damage. Yeah. Crafted weapons dealing more damage is nicer. Far nicer. Okay. Not the backpack. I'm into inventory. There we go. Gotta put my stuff back. <laughs> I forgot how much of a jackass I look like. Okay. Um, yes, there we go. And then there. And then there. Good. Better. Reinforced spotted bra. A throwback to trends of the 20th century. And technically the 21st still. Okay. And light azure composite lined slim fits. This season's hottest color combo. I was about to say hottest because uh, my brain would try to combine hottest and color. Okay. Then the new thing was the katana and the knife. Katana has physical damage. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Stop it. Put that away. Okay. Well. We are done with Mega Building 5-8. got a real charm this place. <laughs> In that slimy subterranean kind of way. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire would really make this place shine. Snake Fingers got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. That's fair. That's a fair point. Okay. Well... Gonna wait on the elevator. Wow, it has to come up a long way. Alright. Johnny's just gonna stand there. Guess it's fine. New job tapeworm. Talk to Johnny. About. Okay. Violence continues to plague the Badlands. I'm in plenty condition to get this taken care of. Shut up. Ah, oh, fuck! The hell's that? Good question. What is that? No, no. Damn it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. 
Can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? Run with the mech bulls or with gazelles on a safari? To finish what I started, I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out, so I'm gonna need you in. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. You know you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Should just ignore you. And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so... This Makoshi... What is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Okay. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Mm -hmm. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. Alright. Take your word for it. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi. If you say so. Okay. Mega building. Okay. Call Judy, because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. You called. <laughs> what? Promise I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. True. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck B. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, all right, later B. Yeah. Now it's time to head to Jig Jig Street while my chip continues to freak out. Shiza. Okay. Uh. Woo! Area is still considered hostile, even. It's a little weird. Oh! 
Okay, well, maneuvering is going to get a little harder, especially considering the game is freaking out on me so hard. Or maybe that's just the chip. I'm not sure anymore. Anyway, um, it's a little, little under our normal episode time, but I think I'm going to end it for right now. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to end it for right now. Makoshi. Makoshi. Okay. Yeah, I'll need to process a lot of what happened for right now. And then we'll have to head to Jig Jig Street and see what happened with Evelyn. So, all right. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to figure out what happened to Evelyn. And uh, figure out a way to get this chip out of my head. And uh, Johnny may have possibly given us the sole lead we have. But uh, getting there is a whole other story. So we'll have to follow what uh, we got going on in regards to missions for right now. Because that might be the only way we can get there. And hopefully we can get there soon. Because, boy, is that chip freaking out already. Godstamn. For you.